In today's video, we're going to be reviewing some of the different adapters that can be used to convert your 18 volt drill to a 20 volt system. The first one I have is the DeWalt product. It costs around $39. The second one I have is from a company called Waitley. It's the Waitley model WTL1820. And the third one I have is from a company called Bizway. And it's the model DCA1820 also. Okay, all of these will work with the 20 volt and batteries into the drill. On today's video, we'll be talking about the cost, some of the functionality of, of the different units, some of the features they have, and we're gonna be pointing out a potential fire hazard with one of these adapters. So the first one is DeWalt. You can easily just slide the DeWalt battery into it, snap it into the drill, and works well. You can run on your 20 volt batteries with no problem. One of the problems with the DeWalt adapter is it's very hard to get it out of the drill. I found if you if you press real hard, it will come out so you can't get it out. And sometimes if you twist it a little bit, that helps also. Next one I have here is the weight leak. Now the weight leak snaps in easy. It also comes out very easy, so I like that. It's very it's a lot easier to use the adapter and move it from one tube to another. Again, no problems. The, the Waitley also comes with, again, very easy to get off. What I like about the Waitley, it comes with a USB port in the back. So this is a five volt, two amp USB port. So you can use it to power devices. If you uh, say you're going camping or you, uh, like in my area where I live, we have hurricanes and we lose power. So we could use it to power our phone or our laptops. So that's a good feature that's on this unit, but not on the other two. The third one here is the display. Again, battery snaps in well. So all three of these are good options for power up the two. And this one comes out fairly easy too. The most difficult one actually is the DeWalt. And I, I have to uh, wonder why DeWalt doesn't make a, a better fit for the tube that comes out easier. Just, now that you're using lithium iron batteries, you need to be careful and not use these batteries on an unapproved charger. All of these adapters instructions tell you do not charge the lithium ion battery on the old charger. So one thing I want to see was, is there anything that stops me from doing that? Because if you're, if you're not aware of the, the hazard, you might create yourself a fire hazard by using this on the wrong charger. This is the original 18 volt battery. This is the old charger. And you can see you plug in the battery and it starts flashing that it's charging. If I try to charge the, the walt, it doesn't go all the way into the charger. And that's on purpose. They've added some plastic stops here so that you cannot put this adapter into the charger with this battery. Okay, if we look at the Watley. They've done some of the same things. They've added different stops on the plastic molding of the adapter. You can try to push it in all you want. It will not go in with any of these. You won't have a fire hazard problem because you can't put these into the old charger. Now, if you take the biz leg and you push it down in here, that's the problem with the biz leg. It goes all the way in and now you're charging the lithium iron batteries on an unapproved charger and that could potentially be a fire hazard. So because of that hazard, I would not recommend that you even buy the Bisley. Okay, cost-wise, the Bisley is the cheapest adapter. It costs roughly about $15. The Wheatley was $17. It's only $2 more than the Bisley. And the DeWalt is $39. So based on the functionality that the DeWalt is difficult to get in and out of the tool, 
plus it costs over twice as much and it doesn't have the USB port, I would actually prefer and buy, if I was gonna buy more of these, I would buy the Wheatley because I get the USB port and it snaps into the tool very easy and comes out very easy. So my choice would be the Wheatley over the DeWalt in this case. <clears throat> there is another issue with the adapters. The instructions tell you do not store the tool with the battery and the adapter attached to the tool. What they tell you to do is go ahead and, and break it away and you probably should go ahead and separate it too. Because two of these units have electronics in them that sense the, uh, the battery and it can tell if it's on an unimproved charger and it will stop the battery from charging. So that circuit, when it's normally, if you leave it in this condition, that circuit will normally be running and drawing a leakage off of the battery. And over time, it will, it will deplete the battery. I left it on the battery for over five days and I didn't see any difference in the uh, strength of the battery on the new drill. So it's probably a slow leakage, but it, but it will happen over time. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. That's the, the pros and cons about these three different adapters. Again, uh, I would probably pick the Waitley over the other two. And if you're looking at saving your, your drill, it's probably a good option to get you one of these adapters. And if you do upgrade to a 20 volt system on any other two, you could use those batteries to keep your own 18 volt two working. I hope that helped. I hope I was able to clear up some issues with the different adapters, some of the good and bad. Again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit like and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.